right, yeah. Now, make we take our top story of the day. Why would they celebrate, say, in a new month? Would they pray, say, everything will get better for Niger people? And why Niger people, they come outside, talk, say, waiting with this operation, positive identification, where army, they come outside, they do. Where they go, they go around, they ask Niger people, say, oh, yeah, show your ID card. And they talk, say, this one, they put them on ground to separate terrorists from um, citizens where not they do badness. Apart from that, too, Niger people, they come outside, they shout, say, if I go somewhere, I go buy something, I use my ATM. 15 naira, now that they collect for me, oh. Then they call them duty stamp. Even YCBN, they come outside, talk, say, we not authorize bank for them to collect 15 naira. We not authorize any merchant at all. Anybody where they sell to collect 15 naira. Plenty things where we they face. Rice, not there for market. Border, they don't close. Now, another one, nine day on ground. This one, our top story of the day, and you go need to put your mouth inside. Now, with the year from the information minister, like Mohammed, I see not come outside, talk, say, this administration, so where they don't sit down, get it by on top, say, this one, they go increase the budget funding. And why they want to increase them? Now, because say, they want to regulate all those activities where you they do on top of social media. Whether I say now Facebook, your Twitter, or Instagram, they say they want to regulate them and stop this hate speech where they share it for inside we do Nigeria. Now, in his own words, quote unquote, he talks, say, we not fit allow our media environment. May they overtake the media environment with fake news and hate speech, especially on top social media. Now, we didn't talk during by the time we do media briefing for inside the state house just on Wednesday afternoon. Yesterday, Nigerians don't they talk plenty since on Wednesday. Say, what did this one mean? Now, apart from the fact, say, social media too, um, say the one actually regulate them, even media firms, self, TV house, yo, radio, they talk, say, uh, they go increase their sanction. If they notice, say, any radio house, any TV house, they do some kind of uh, talk where they consider as hate speech, say, they go increase the sanction 10 times. From 500,000 naira, where they don't put on grant for sanction for any media house, they go increase them to 5 million naira. Now, not forget, say, this present administration, so plenty people, now they don't arrest. Whether saying a bloggers, you, whether saying a journalist, so plenty people, now they don't arrest since the president, Muhammadu Buhari, be entered inside office for 2015. Now, the reason why they be arrested of some of these people now because they, um, they consider say, they, 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 they publish some kind of um, stories or that they talk some kind of things where they consider as hate speech. Now, we know say fake news, not be only Nigeria now in day, it's day for everywhere. Fake news is spread up and down. Now, why would they think of ways on how to stop um, this fake news matter where they trend up and down? Our government don't come outside and talk, say, we will not need to go too far. Oh. We will not need to go far. We go increase um, um, funding and technical know-how on how to regulate social media and even combat hate speech. Now, we're asking you this morning, what do you think about this one where they don't put on ground? So, regulating social media. Some of the things where you they post on top of Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if you post some kind of things, then we better not switch our, uh, our uh, um, um, uh, operators, that's what they call them, so our politicians, or security operatives, they not switch them. They say they actually arrest you on top of this particular matter because they go consider them as hate speech. What do you think about regulating social media, Instagram them, and even the one where they don't put on ground for media houses then? They either consider, say, you do anything where they where, where will cause, cause uh, wahala for inside the other country, they go increase your fine 10 times from the amount where they're on ground. You feel you won't pay 5 million. And if they don't put, give you sanction three times, they will shut down your TV station, shut down your radio station. We don't see and say it don't happen. And for, um, for, for some years now, it don't they actually happen. Talk to us this morning. We want to make you talk to us. So let us know whether time don't reach for us to regulate social media or this one just means say, uh, we will not get direction. Talk to us. Um, looking at social media and um, the, the issue of regulating, when you deregulate and that means say restrictions go there, that means say yes. it's, it's almost like a partial ban. And mm -hmm. um, you know, Nigeria is not the first country to actually think about it. We get countries where actually they do them. Countries like China, um, you get certain social media where you know if you use, you know if you use places, things like Facebook um, for, for places like China. Mm -hmm. North Korea, they've even blocked YouTube. Mm -hmm. In China, too, there's partial blockage of YouTube. In China, during their camp, their political um, season also, they, they block even, even WhatsApp. Dubai, not go to um, Dubai, Dubai as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. we, get, we get so many countries we get Cuba, we get um, um, Bangladesh. It's so, so many those of these countries. So those now they put on ground to, to, to actually regulate, yes, certain news. information. Mm -hmm. 
from moving around and then mm -hmm. if they even grab you as at as at for if you want to use other platforms where they open and they grab you there are, there are serious consequences to face exactly. for those kind of things so nigeria is not the first country i mean nigeria is not even going to be the last country the other countries have been doing it long before us as far back as 2009 but people they come outside they talk say no, now the majors where they take you know yes. all these other countries now, that's, now. that's what i'm saying what the, uh -huh. now, now the angle where they come exactly. from now now the way where they want to go about them now people they come outside they mm -hmm. look and the fact say we even get money we, we need to set aside for this kind Just of war so, uh, because remember say this is coming back to our budget mm -hmm. our budget as we speak is over 10 trillion naira now they increase the budget now so they, they want increase now they talk now it's over 10 it's actually 10.3 um, trillion naira mm -hmm. now uh, the way the way that they go about the fake news is good uh, we just wish say some people we say the passion way they get to cop fake news may they also put that same passion for other sectors like education let them put that passion to in other sectors like health let them put that oh, that same passion to in other sectors like infrastructure make we see the work way that they do how much they allocate for education how much was allocated to healthcare and other uh, uh, basic infrastructures we need for inside the country? How well have they implemented all those parts? Whether they come outside talk say we need to. Yes, it's true. We actually need to regulate certain things. But make we see, say, say the other sectors where they involved and the money. Where would they hear? Say no day because this budget what they talk of where they want accommodate this one now means there's going to be an increment mm. and this increment in the budget is going to also be based on the fact say VAT where we are complete should we just talk about a uh, 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 duty, stamp. duty stamp now mm -hmm. this budget what they talk about now is based on the VAT of 7.5 percent that means the VAT increment mm -hmm. so whether we like it or yes that VAT where all of us they cry for say we they cry so we'll not get money we are all going to pay for it it's in so at this point in time fine waiting hate speech be mm. that one of my problem because over the months and the weeks and even the years, we don't see even some of our uh, uh, officials then talk some, some kind of thing against each other, even against the country itself. Uh, this badness go happen if anybody attack me or this and that. We don't see say they talk and but nobody they arrest them. Nobody they ask them questions, say why you come as I talk this kind of, kind of thing. But we don't see cases of, see the journalists now where they, are, where they be arrested, they be detained for, for days. Or because say, the journalists, they come outside, talk about the administration for inside um, Ben Ayade um, administration. They come outside, talk, say, what did they happen for inside Cross River State? Why is Cross River State like this? They detain him. So we never really define what in hate speech be. We never define them. So this one would just mean, say, a lot of people go, be, go they victimize. Maybe now you come outside, talk something consigning an or consigning person who is supposed to do work for inside office. They feel categorize them as hate speech. Put you for inside detention center. So he, he, this one just did, he just did too open and it just be like we not even get direction as regards to controlling social media. Yes, like you talk, we need to control activities of social media. Fake news they real. America they complain about fake news. But the way where we they go, now the right way where we supposed to go. Now what we they ask you this morning? Increasing our budget. Just for us to stop this uh, fake news and even the hate speech where they happen of social media and uh, even the, um, increasing the fines where media houses go pay. You feel saying that the way where we need to go right now for Isabu Obodo, Nigeria, to stop hate speech and to make sure say, we are very united, speak with us this morning. Our WhatsApp number is there for you to talk to us. You. 080-9032-1452, 080-9032-1452, now our WhatsApp machine, send us a message, tell us the state where they send them to, and your name, and we will surely read them on top of the show today. All right, well, we expect your messages on top of WhatsApp machine, you know, we always talk them, and we always plead with them, uh, where they actually send us this message, yeah, beg, now WhatsApp messages only, now in that WhatsApp number, <coughs> they, therefore, we don't need, at this point in time, especially during the show, we don't need, uh, we do always appeal, say, we don't need to actually call the WhatsApp number. You don't even need to do video call or voice call on top of um, the WhatsApp number. Now, just for WhatsApp messages. And when they talk and say, if you decide to still insist on doing video call by calling the number or WhatsApp call by calling the number, if you be said the next time when you try the number, you feel no day um, able to reach the number at that point in time. So, we always appeal. So, just send us your name, your location and the message where you want to send. And of course, we say they appreciate everybody when they send us messages on top of the WhatsApp machine. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.